Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change or remove the logic board in the Galaxy Note 3. So to remove the back cover, what you will need to do is start in this corner here by the S Pen. You can either use the S Pen or if you have a tool like this, you can just pry up a little bit right in that corner to get started and then just kind of work your way around and the back cover comes right off. So to remove the battery all you need to do is put your fingernail in this slot right here and just pry up just like that. Next what you will need to do is have a little Phillips screwdriver and you'll need to take out these 12 screws. They're all the same size and they're all the way around there. To remove this cover what you will need to do if you have a little pry tool like this or you can even use the S Pen if you pry carefully just uh, pry up a little bit right here in this corner and then just work your way around going this way seems to work the best and just put your fingers in there to help it a little bit. Now this corner right here is the hardest corner that's why you want to come around this way because it seems to be easier and then yeah if you just I already had it pop loose must be a little bit but right in this corner here was the worst part to remove the logic board first of all you'll need to undo this antenna right here with your pliers or whatever you want to use I mean I use the tweezers um, but next um, there's this connector right here that you will want to unplug and then there's this connector right here and then you want to unplug this connector and then there's one here just very carefully and there's another one here I recommend using a plastic tool if you can because just so it for sure doesn't do any damage to the logic board there's another uh, connector here And then we should be able to just pry up right down here. Just go really carefully. Make sure everything pops right out just like that. To reinstall the logic board, what you need to do is just carefully move all the stuff here. All these different connectors that are in the way. Make sure that they're all down out of the way. So now you're going to want to reconnect this connector. A lot of times you can just push down with your fingers because you can feel right where everything goes. And um, Before you get too far ahead, um, make sure that this connector is out of the way here. And so yeah, just reconnect um, all these different connectors here. That one was a little bit of a tricky one. Just make sure that you get that one in properly and connect it while you're right at it you can just be careful there it should snap right down we can snap this connector down again and then over here we can snap these ones into place So just check, there's a connector here, 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 and here, there's one here, and here, and then this antenna wire on both ends. Make sure those are all connected good. To reinstall the back cover, um, 
what you need to do is uh, just start in the top here, I would say. Actually, one thing, just make sure that the camera lens is good and clean before you install everything. Make sure that's free of dirt and this here as well. And just start in the top. And just make sure everything snaps into place as you come down through. And put your 12 screws back in. Next, to put in the battery, just make sure that this terminals are lined up on this side where these prongs are. Just set it in like that. Press down. Should be good to go. To put the back cover back on, all you need to do is set it on there. I'd recommend starting at the top. And just press it down as you come down through. And just make sure everything snaps in. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.